The gloves of Miss Elsneri are an uncommon magic item in Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition. As you can see from the description, they allow you to use your reaction to reduce the damage caused by a weapon ranged attack by 1d10 plus your dexterity modifier. You can even catch the missile if it's small enough to hold it in your hand. In the spirit of not allowing a flowerless object in our campaign, and to satisfy the request of one viewer, we will add some depth to the gloves. Don't forget to like and subscribe to be informed when I do other videos like this, and let me know in the comments what magic item I should alter next. First of all, we roll for who created the object. We got a 14, which means the elves. The item is half the normal weight. It is adorned with symbols of nature, leaves, vines, stars, and the like. Mm -hmm. Very well. Now we can roll for a piece of history. We got a 4, which means this is an ornament. The item was created to honor a special occasion. Inset gemstones, gold or platinum inlays, and gold or silver filigree adorn its surface. Next, we roll for a minor property. And we got a 15, which translates to unbreakable. The item can't be broken. Special means must be used to destroy it. And finally, we can roll on the quirks. And we got a 7, metamorph. The item periodically and randomly alters its appearance in slight ways. The bearer has no control over these minor alterations, which have no effect on the item's use. Now that we have all the ingredients, let's put them together. As this was crafted by the elves, I will first roll for the name of the tale. We can use the fantasy name generator to get some names. I got these. I like Gailin Mortan as the name of the tailor, because it's short and easy to say. As crafting a magic item, even an uncommon one, can be quite an expensive and long endeavor, Gaelin for sure crafted the gloves on the Alf of Summer. A noble house of the elves could be that patron, let's say the Keilana family. The special occasion for these gloves could be the coming of age of Kindred Keilana, the youngest member of the Keilana family. The person who actually commissioned the gloves could be Kindred mother, Nesala. Nesala decided that her son would need some additional protection against possible assassination attempts. The gloves should be adorned with precious gems, and I would choose white pearls, 12 of them, 6 for each glove, arranged in the shape of a constellation, let's say the unicorn, which would be the emblem of the Kailana family too. The same emblem would be embroidered on the gloves, and would be the only part visible of the gloves when they are worn, together with the 12 pearls. The object is meant to be unbreakable, so of course Gailin would have used something different than normal leather for them. And I would think that the silk of a giant spider could be a suitable material to take these enchantments. The metamorphic property means that the head of the unicorn is not always in the same position, turning now and then left and right. Last thing to create is a name, and since the gloves are made of silk and meant to offer protection, I will call them silk guards. Of course, an adventurer will want a cloak together with the gloves. You can check the cinder cloak in this video for one such cloak. In the meantime, don't stop creating.